Good morning, everybody. This is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ. And yes, <clears throat> excuse me, I am a prayer warrior. I have not been on to make a YouTube video since last year. Praise the Lord. And as you can see, I've had a lot of changes. I um, have lost close to 100 pounds. And I decided I was going to cut my hair off. I turned 53 December 30th. And um, I thought, you know, Lord, I'm going to embrace my 50s. And I've been a hairstylist for the last 31 years. Never cut my hair. Did not cut my hair when I was in beauty school. Did not cut my hair uh, at all. I got perms. I got color. I got highlights, things like that. But I just never cut my hair off. And now that I turned 53, um, this is the shortest I've ever been. But I go out every single day with my dog, Izzy, and we shoot out for about a good hour. I've got like a belt that I put on. It's got like a bungee type of cord that I hook to her uh, collar, and we take off running. And it's amazing. My, uh, my dog, Izzy, will just take off, and I try to keep up with her, or I'll pull her back a little bit when I'm getting tired. But it just it feels so good. You know, I live out here in Texas now, and we've been out here for just over a year and a half and almost two years now loving it so a lot has happened with me um since uh since i've been on youtube <laughs> i've really been staying away from uh social media i do like to get on my youtube but i i've not been on facebook since september of 2020 and then i went off my instagram um, I think it was back in December before the new year. Um, but God has been dealing with some things in my heart. Um, and, you know, the only way that I want to grow closer to Jesus is by, den is by denying things that my flesh and my eyes want to do. So it's the lust of the eyes and the flesh that are always going to be at war with the spirit. And so the only way I can get my uh, physical body obedient to the Holy Spirit is to break away from things that can become idols. And one of those ways for me has been getting off social media and so um uh, uh uh anyway bottom line is if you've been following me on these youtube videos you know that i have been an lcu student lifestyle christianity university student walking in your identity um uh, living a life as Christ did. Little uh, Christian means Christ-like people. We're the light of the world. We're out there to share the love of Jesus, be a light for those that are living in the dark. And if you've seen any of my past videos, I once <clears throat> was a raging alcoholic, drug addict, lost the custody of my five children, very toxic relationship with my children's ex, uh, my ex-husband, and uh, up until about 10 years ago. So um, I surrendered my life over to Jesus, and since I've done that, he's the only thing that set me free. I was in nine different treatment centers. I was in and out of the psych ward on all kinds of medications, uh, but I, I didn't know Jesus. I knew about Jesus, and I knew if I confessed with my mouth and believed in my heart that I would be saved, I thought by his grace and his mercy, I could still live a life of destructiveness and believe by faith that I was still going to go to heaven. And, you know, for me, I don't know if that's really true or not. I believe it's a, few, it's a whole uh, transformation of literally turning away from a lifestyle of darkness and choosing to live a life for Jesus, which is uh, in the light, which is life and its peace. So that's how I choose to live today. Today, I live in the gospel, the pill, the medication of the word of God to feed my heart, renew my mind, keep me on the narrow path and live a life of self-control and discipline praise the Lord. So routine has been very important to me. But because today is 2 22 I thought, you know, Lord, if you don't mind, 
Um, I would like to jump on my YouTube video. People have not seen me as I cut my hair off. Now, I just got up this morning, so if you watch any of my videos, I am a pretty well natural looking person. I don't wear a lot of makeup and um, just, you know, I am very transparent, I guess. So I'm having my coffee this morning. I have been um, going over, reading all the Gospels, uh, trying to get through the uh, New Testament for this year. I choose to stay in the New Testament because it helps my mind. But I thought I would read Proverbs 22 with uh, with you today. Um, and as you can see, I when I talk to you, I get kind of all over the board. That's just kind of the way I am. I need to stay on the same subject. But um, I wanted to mention to you all that um, I am no longer at Lifestyle Christianity University. God told me to leave and... Um, uh, learn from the teacher himself through the power of the Holy Spirit and through his word. So um, instead of getting up every day and going to a building with other strong believers that love Jesus, um, I have chosen to pull away from Lifestyle Christianity Love the school. They're do, they do an awesome job. I'd recommend it for anybody. Praise the Lord. I'm so grateful that it is here in the uh, DFW area in Watauga, Texas. I am very, very grateful to be in Texas. There's a lot of great Christian ministries here, but God has pulled me out of lifestyle Christianity, and I am now on a journey of uh, just in a waiting period. I don't know what the Lord has planned for me, praise God. But the waiting is fun. It can be hard at times, um, but being pruned every day and growing in the closeness and in the presence of the Lord is really, there's no place I'd rather be anyway. <laughs> Praise God. So, um, so anyway, I went to a lifestyle Christianity for, uh, from 2020 all the way to the end of 2020, 2021. And, um, and I don't know what I'm going to do right now. God has me right now. If you've heard of Gateway Church, I am attending Gateway Church. Uh, Pastor Robert Morrison, he's got some awesome videos. Uh, he's a great shepherd. He's uh, got a great book called uh, The Blessed uh, the Blessed Life. Uh, I have the book. I just don't feel like grabbing it to show you right now. But uh, it's all about being a cheerful giver. The more you give, the more you receive. And so I love that because I started my year off with uh, going to Gateway Church. And um, uh, there, uh, it's all about putting God first. First of the year, first of the month, first of the, uh, first, you know, the first for everything. Giving God your best for the first of the year. So you're putting your best foot forward for the year. And I, and I love it because we went over the whole book of Psalm 23. And um, keeping him as our shepherd and understanding the voice of our shepherd, Jesus, to discern between the voice of our flesh or the voice of the enemy. So, let's read chapter 22 in the book of Proverbs together, and then I'm going to hop off. So, anyway, Proverbs 22, I'm going to read out of the New Living Translation. Choose a good reputation over great riches, for being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees danger ahead and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and a long life. The deceitful walk, uh, the, the deceitful walk a thorny, treacherous road, Whoever values life will stay away. Each children to choose the right path when they are older. Teach your children to choose the right path, and when they're older, they will remain upon it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. Those who plant seeds for injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will end. Blessed are those who are generous because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker and fighting and quarrels and insults will disappear. 
Anyone who loves a pure heart and gracious speech is the king's friend. The Lord preserves knowledge, but he ruins the plans of the deceitful. The lazy person is full of excuses, saying, If I go outside, I might meet a lion in the street and be killed. The mouth of an immoral woman is a deep pit. Those living under the Lord's displeasure will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but discipline will drive it away. A person who st gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. Listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my instruction. For it is good to keep these saints' teeth within yourself, always ready on your lips. I am teaching you today, yes, you, so you will trust in the Lord. I have written 30 saints for you, filled with advice and knowledge. In this way, you may know the truth and bring an accurate report to those who sent you. Do not rob the poor because the poor or because the, they are poor or exploit the needy in court, for the Lord is their defender. He will injure anyone who injures them. Keep away from anger and short-tempered people, or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. Do not co-sign another person's note or put up a guarantee for someone else's loan. If you can't pay it, even your bed will be snatched from under you. Do not steal your neighbor's property by moving the ancient boundary markers set up for your ancestors. Do not see, or do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than ordinary people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So seek wisdom today. Seek the Lord today while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I love you guys. I pray that this 22222 is going to be an awesome day for you. And if you like my videos and you come across it today and you want to subscribe, please hit the little subscribe and the little bell button. And it'll tell you every time I make a video, I'm praying that the Lord will have me back on making more videos. <laughs> Praise God. I always like to jump on when he tells me so. Uh, but I love you. Jesus loves us even more. Remember, Jesus is Lord, and our souls are well. Hallelujah. Bye now.